Let's see if the SACO society's regulatory authority, that SASTRA, has commenced stakeholders' consultations on a proposed levy on the deposits of specified non-withdrawable deposit-taking SACOs to fund its expanded functions. So according to the recently published draft SACO society's levy order, the regulator seeks to charge a levy of 0.165% on the total non-withdrawable deposits of the targeted SACOs. If approved, the levy will see SASRA net at least 137.98 million from 169 non-withdrawable deposit-taking circles. So the authority has, however, restricted the levy at a maximum of 8 million, meaning that such circles holding more than 4.84 billion will be spared the expense. As a matter of principle, is that uh, when uh, Sasra was created about uh, slightly about uh, about now 11 years ago, Sasra did not benefit from uh, the exchequer on the seed capital, so it has been entirely dependent on uh, on the levies and the fee they charge from the withdrawal from the depot staking circles. The uh, framing of this regulation is such that every month there is a circle reaching 100 million, and therefore the automatically they come to Sasra. Two, and I think that answers the question of, uh, you know, and Scrapper's uh, kind of circles, is that what we are having is that the new regulations also mean the digital, whether you have 100 million or not, but you want to operate digital, that is virtually, or you want to recruit members from diaspora, from day one you have to come and ask. And that therefore means operationally you have to build capacity because that also requires a lot of surveillance in capacity. Both you are visibly online and you are able to collect data that you can actually act on as a regulator, no speculation. And also even surveillance in terms of the, the market.